Hi my supporters and welcome to Provision Wrestling YouTube channel. I will continue playing an invasion episode with SGT Slaughter against Robert Roode. Roode grew up around an athletic environment playing minor hockey in Peterborough and attended Kenner Collegiate Vocational Institution. He was also a stick boy for the Oles Peterborough Peets and witnessed players such as future NHLers Mike Rixai, Ty Domi, and Chris Pronger train for the local major junior team. Rue was trained in his hometown of Peterborough, Ontario by fellow Ontarians Shane Sewell and Sean Morley. He completed his training after a year and wrestled his debut match in June 1998 as Total Leah Awesome against Pete Rock. He then went on to work for various Canadian independent promotions, as well as making appearances for the Puerto Rican promotion World Wrestling Council WWC. He also went on to work a series of dark matches for World Wrestling Federation slash World Wrestling Entertainment WWF slash WWE between 1998 and 2004 before he was signed by Total Nonstop Action Wrestling TNA. Rude began working for Real Action Wrestling in 2001, where he formed a villainous stable known as the Cardinal Sinners along with Kingman and Mike Hughes as well as part-time members Wildman Gary Williams and the Acadian Giants. Rude later rejoined them as a part of their wrestling reality show to be aired on the Fight Network, but he was not seen on these episodes due to contract In TNA as part of the Team Canada stable and took part in the World X Cup, which was won by Team USA. Team Canada went on to feud with Thrill of Crew and America's Most Wanted. On the October 12, 2004 episode of Impact, Team Canada approved and Eric Young defeated Christopher Daniels and James Storm to win the NWA World Tag Team Championship. At Victory Road, Team Canada lost the titles to Thrill of Crew B.G, James and Conan. As the biggest and most powerful member of Team Canada at the time, Rude acted as the enforcer of the group, a role popularized by Arn Anderson. In early 2006, recognizing his comparisons to Anderson, he made the request that he be called the Canadian enforcer from that point onward and began coming to the ring in sequined robes reminiscent of the flashy style popularized by the Four Horsemen and Rick Rude in the late 1980s. Hope you enjoy this match and see you again in the next video. Thanks.